Welcome back to my channel, y'all. This is Kiki. I know it's been several months since I've been on this channel. Well, my one and only channel. But this has been a lot going on, and time go by so fast. And I just haven't had the time to put forth an effort to do a video. But today is snowing, and you know, I can't go nowhere because I do not drive in the snow. That's something I do not do unless it's an emergency. So, okay. Um, as you see on my title, says VSG, liposuction, and stuff like that. Okay, well, I'm in the process of getting VSG done. For the ones who don't know what VSG, which everyone should know by now because it's very popular right now. Not saying it's a fact that's going on, but it's something that obesity people was doing nowadays. So, let me give y'all a little background history on me. Um, I just turned 30 last month, December the 21st. Thank you, God. I turned 30. I spent my weekend in Atlanta, Georgia with some girls. We had a great time. And really, the whole month of December, I just celebrated my birthday like every weekend, doing something with different people and stuff like that. But enough about that. This is about the VSG. Um, I am type 1 diabetic, and um, I, I had got type, I had. Um, I was 14 when I was pregnant. No, hold on. Yeah, I was 14 when I was pregnant with my first son, and, and I had him at the age of 15, which he would be 14 next month. I developed the type 1 diabetes disease pregnant with him. And um, when I was pregnant with him, like I said, I was four, um, 14, 15. Hold on, y'all. I was 14 ahead of me, 15, sorry. And um, I had type 1 diabetes, and I was back and forth in the hospital. I was so young, and, you know, after I had him, which he was born six weeks premature due to all the complications and stuff like that, um, I had him at um, 36 weeks. No, I had him at 34 weeks. And I had him February 23rd. He was due April the 6th of 2004. And after I had him, you know, normally the um, diabetics um, that's pregnant, their diabetes go away. Well, unfortunately, mine did not go away. I feel in the back of my mind that I may have diabetes longer than what I thought. I just didn't ever know. I don't know. Because it's very, very rare to have diabetes and it don't go away after pregnancy. So, um, ever since him... Me being pregnant with, with my first child, one out of three, um, I've been dealing with type um, 1 diabetes, so I say roughly 15 years now. I don't have my ups and downs, and it's, and it's very hard. Like, people that doesn't have it have a lot of advantages versus people that does have it. Even a type 2 diabetes have better advantages than a type 1. And the difference between a type 1 and a type 2 diabetic is type 1 diabetic's pancreas doesn't produce no insulin at all. None. Type 2 diabetic, some produces it and it doesn't work well and some works well but it's not enough. So my video stop. So some um, pancreas um, type 2 diabetics produces insulin but it's not enough. So some take pills and some still take shots where well, I'm on a diabetic pump. So with that being said, um it's hard for me to lose weight on my own. Plus hold on, it's a plus to that. I had thyroid surgery in two thousand and eight when I had my second child. Um I was dealing with hyper thyroid where my I was you know, I was losing weight, my Neck was swollen all the time, heart beating at my chest. I was like a size seven, seven nine. So I would gain weight, but I would lose weight. I would gain weight and then I would lose weight. Now, excuse me for my hair. I'm about to take this out tomorrow. I only had this in for a month. It's a frontal, but it's a mess. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's snowing like crazy. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, like I say, um, type two, um, type one dot. No, the thyroid. I mean, dealing with that for. <laughs> okay, y'all. Like I was saying, um, 
we're gonna enter my coffin. Um, <clears throat> I had thyroid surgery, so that combination in type one diabetes is very hard. So I um those has been following me for a while now. Um, in two thousand and fourteen. I tried the gastric bypass. It's like a um, jello. You would have to go back to my old videos to look. I will link it if I can. Um, my my baby girl is acting up right now. So y'all, somebody been crying, wanting to come in here. Tell them hey. Tell them hey. <laughs> y'all know she done got something. So um, like I was saying um. Thyroid surgery, type 1 diabetes, um, I've been dealing with it for 14 plus years. Um, after I had the thyroid removed, that's when I started gaining weight. Didn't know that it was going to happen, but it's kind of was like something that I really needed to do or something could really, really happen to me. So I had to do what was best for me. So, um, <clears throat> like I was telling y'all, the 2014... I was going to, um, I started using a, um, mouth supplement that's like gastric bypass, but it's, um, I cannot think of it right, right now, but it's on my channel, and it was like a jello that you eat, it has like a lot of water with it, well, I started doing that and ended up pregnant, <laughs> so, yeah, I ended up pregnant using that product, so, I mean, so I can't say that it worked or wouldn't work. And my fiance threw it away because he, he did ask me, do I want him to? And I was like, yeah. But then I'm like, why did I let him throw it away? But, you know, you can't cry over sport meal, right? Um, <clears throat> so, um, I started working out last year of 2017. Mama, mama. Stop acting like a baby. Mama, mama. Tell him, hey. Say, hey, how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Robin. No, how old are you? Robin. What's your name? How old are you? Robin. She said her name, July Bennett. No, I asked her. First, she said two, but she get it confused. But um, <clears throat> I started working out. Stop. I started working out last year for like three months straight. I lost a little bit of weight, but not enough. And I was really not just working out to lose weight. I was working out to get and feel good. You know, feel like, oh, yes, I'm pumped. I'm, I got this energy. I even ran a little. And I haven't ran in years. So, with that being said, um, the diabetes and the thyroid. Oh, yeah, type 2 diabetes, they can um, lose weight and the diabetes can go away. It can probably go away. Like, they have a good chance of it going away versus type 1. We stuck with it. We just stuck with it. Unless we get a new pancreas. I don't know how that works. I don't know if people ever did that. I don't even know if it's real. But, um, yeah, type 2 diabetes have a better advantage than type 1. So... I'm going to be vlogging, well not vlogging, but coming to y'all with a video, a talking video like this, every couple months. Uh, I'm going to start back getting into doing makeup, y'all. Please bear with me. Um, a lot of things have changed on YouTube. I got a, um, I'm getting off the subject for a second. I got an update last night saying that my videos will no longer be monomized, um, Unless I get a thousand plus subbies. I'm nowhere near a thousand subbies. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I didn't come out here to really get paid. I came out here to grow and get feedback. See other people's stuff. Stuff like that. So it is what it is with that situation. Um, <clears throat> so VSG. VSG is the gastric sleeve. Verticals, is it called vertical sleeve gastric bypass? Vertical sleeve gastric bypass. And then there's a bypass, which is a four blown bypass. The difference is the bypass is when they take your stomach, it's like a two hour procedure. They take your stomach and kind of like move your stomach, put your, move your stomach around it in another direction. So where, where, 
so how your food will flow it won't flow the same so it makes you lose weight just um google it if you haven't never heard about it because i ain't want to tell y'all um nothing wrong about that but um that's the back that's the um <clears throat> bypass the full-blown bypass the vertical sleeve is different they both lose weight but bypass you lose more weight and you drop the weight quicker than the vertical sleeve the vertical sleeve is where your stomach is like right now is 100 percent they cut your stomach down to like 20 percent stomach i know that's really really low and yeah, they staple your stomach. The staples are very safe. I went to a seminar. I'm going to tell y'all more about that. But, um, <clears throat> they cut your stomach and you only have 20% stomach left. So, when you eat, you're only going to be able to eat small portions. Because once that sleeve fill up, you're full. You can't eat no more. If you do try to, or if you eat the wrong foods, you're going to throw up. So, I want to do... My paperwork still say not decided, but I want to do the vertical sleeve. But my di uh, my doctor that's actually doing my surgery and his nurse, they recommended me to do the gastric bypass. So it's still my decision, but I'm still stuck on the vertical right now because I'm seeing great results with the vertical. But I know they're looking at it for the longevity of my type 1 diabetes. So, I don't know. I'm still been looking at and reading my paperwork, read, uh, watching people's videos on YT to get the full decision on which one I'm going to choose. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. And, um, that, um, so, um, this is what they gave me on my first appointment. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about this in a second. But, um, this is going to be a long video. So, sorry. Yeah. But I wanted to give y'all a lot of information just in case you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> I went to my seminar back in November, October or November in Charlotte. And you have to attend a seminar to even um, get a first appointment. So I went to my seminar. There was a lot of people that's way bigger than me there. I'm looking like, is this for me? You know? So, I went to the seminar, and then I gave him my first appointment, which was in December. But, being that it was in December, and uh, I had to get it rescheduled because I was out of town. So, I just went to my first appointment. Um, a few, matter of fact, I went last Friday to my first appointment. Then I went to my second appointment this Monday past, which was the 15th. Yeah, the 15th. And, um... I went to my first appointment. They weighed me. I spoke to the doctor that's going to ask you. They asked me all kind of questions and stuff like that. And asked me which surgery I wanted. I told them I was undecided. So, um, yeah. Um, my weight is 250 pounds. And I'm 5'8". Um, yeah. I'm big. <laughs> I'm big, but a lot of people say I wear it well and stuff. Everybody have their own opinions, but um, you know, I, I don't like my stomach. That's one thing I do not like. Women do not like their stomach. I have a bigger behind. I don't have no breasts. Really, this is a padded bra. I don't have any breasts. So, yeah. Um. Okay. With um, I'm gonna try to answer questions because I don't want nobody asking questions. When I can answer it as I think of it. If I, if I do have a question, feel free to ask me below and i get back to y'all with that. Um, so, it's three um, months medically. Um, it's three, um, what do you call it? Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I know it's three types of programs. It's a four months, six months, and 12 months, depending on your um, health insurance. Well, I'm in a six months program, and um, I did have to pay a, a $100 free program, and this fitness evaluation by an exercise specialist covering the $100 program. At this consultation, you will begin initial initial exercise prescription detail for you. So, subsequent visit with an exercise specialist if desired to have an associate charge, depending on the lift of the appointment. So, um, 
So, um, I'm on a 1500 calorie diet right now. It's hard because I'm diabetic and, um, you know, it's very hard, but I have to do it. So, and, um, so, I got my weight wrong. I'm 240, not 250. So, um, for that fail. But anyway, um, I'm going to give y'all a little insight of it. Um, you have to see a, um, psychiatrist. You have to see a psychiatrist. And they have to, um, what's the name of the car? Um, you have to see a psychiatrist for this program as well. And then the, the psychiatrist has to, um, oh, what did you call it? Um, remove you from the pro not remove you, um, the discharge you. The psychiatrist has to discharge you. Damn, I couldn't think of that. It took a minute of my time. So, I'm in the process of finding a psychiatrist that my insurance will pay for. And, um, this is the uh, medical supervised checklist. The medical supervised checklist program is at least four months, six months, or 12 months. Mine is six months. You have to see a psychiatrist, like I said. You have to see a nutritionist consult. All patients are required to complete a nutrition evaluation. You will meet with one of our dietitians. This reason take one to one and a half hours. You have to, they have to have your weight documentation of, of three years, which they have mine. And you got to get a fitness evaluation. Your appointment to see one of the SSI specialists will be made today. There is no charge for the fitness evaluation. It is included in the program free fee. Please bring the fitness resistant bands that you received today and you with you to your fitness evaluation. I did receive two two bands. I received a bag and two bands and a water bottle. Okay. I was well dang, stuff came out of my binder. Oh, okay, this is what I mean by being my eyes. So I'm two, I'm five eight. I weigh two forty. I weigh two forty. So you have to be in the green, I think. Oh no. Um, a morbid obesity. They have overweight, obese, morbid obesity, and super obesity. I'm morbid obesity. So, like, I'm right a little past obese at my height and weight. I'm like 10 pounds past that. I would be just obese. So, you have to, uh, your BMI has to be a certain number. So I just wanted to come to y'all to give y'all a little insight what's been going on going on with me. Okay, with the lipo suction with lipo, I was gonna get lipo, but when I really understood what lipo was for, lipo was for like people that don't lost the weight and just need the extra stuff. Like it's no point of me just getting my stomach sucked out and then I still got big arms or you know. It was ashy, but anyway, you know, still have big arms or, you know, big this and that. So, I want it all to fall off together. So, I will be updating y'all soon with some more uh, about my appointments. Um, my next appointment is February the 7th. No, February the 15th. Yeah, February the 15th is my next appointment. And I wish I had to see a doctor every month up until my surgery. So my surgery will be between June and July. I do know that. I don't know exact date, but I do know between June or July. Bummer, but it's okay. Because I don't have to pay anything out of pocket with this surgery. So I want to say, if y'all have any questions or want to know anything else, just let me know. And y'all, I want y'all to know what's, what works for me what may work for you or may not work for you. And I want y'all to understand 
that this is a lifestyle change that I have to stay committed to for the rest of my life. It's going to be hard at times. I'm probably going to want to give up at times. But with God first and strength and prayer, I will work this thing out. And if um, if you know someone that's went through it, please let me know and let me know how do you feel about it. But um, I have three kids that I want to see grow up. I love them to death. They love me to death. So, yes, if you have any more questions, let me know. And I will put up a video on my 30th birthday turn up weekend. Just a little video and stuff. It'll probably be up before this video. But if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And y'all, please stay in and stay warm through this weather.